so it fits over the ball screw now and it fits on that side so now i can put this together in the mill Hi YouTube, Hans here, Harbor Freight Mini Mill Project. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show how I finished getting the mount for the power head cut so that way the arm on the ball nut can mount to it. And I had to modify the holder for the ball screw for the ball nut. And I've got the ball screw mounted in there. And you know, this is probably, I don't know, a six minute video or something, and you'll see plenty of progress, um, but I'm still not done getting the Z axis uh, mounted. So it just gives you a good idea of all the work involved. But uh, this, this video, I'm gonna show a few new things that you haven't seen before. Uh, using a simple file for one, uh, two, a single point broaching and I'm also using the boring head to open up the hole for the ball nut uh, so hope you enjoy this video and uh, learn something new thanks <laughs> Here I'm doing a, a step over and plunge down because I the uh, end mill will deflect too far and I can break it. So I have to just step down progressively, very small amounts. I'm stepping over ten thousandths at a time. So I've got it to the point where I think I'm gonna take it off of here and test it out in the mill but this edge right here is what I ate into you can see that the distance to that hole the wall thickness is is less now so I'm gonna see if this is enough uh, I'm literally I didn't measure anything here I'm just going by look and feel cutting this cast iron or cast steel whatever it is is it's kind of fun. It's uh, it just that it's just like powder right there. This is like a fine dust. I've got the arm into the casting here, and I'm assessing my clearance that I made over here. And the piece needs to go like right there, which is up up on this radius. I wish I had a smaller diameter end mill that was three inches long. The one that I was using is half inch, which is a pretty, a pretty long and skinny end mill. So I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I gotta, I gotta think about this, but I got to get, uh, I've got to go into here half the radius more in order for this thing to be in the right position so that way down inside here I am centered and away from all of the obstructions. This cuts really fast, this cast material. It took me less than five minutes to cut that radius open. After filing this surface, I just can't get this flat and I'm looking all around here and realizing this is not totally flat. So I'm gonna do a single point broach tool to fix this. So that's coming up. So this was a boring bar tool that I had in a set. I cut it and I'm gonna put it in a tool holder and use it to broach. I'm gonna sharpen this edge right here. This is gonna be my cutting edge. It's gonna go down. It's gonna cut down that way. So I have these diamond hones that are pretty pretty cheap to buy actually. Um, and I'm gonna just rub it back and forth and you start with the coarsest grit. This is a, this is a 200 grit that I'm starting with. 
and that that's going to be close enough so i'm going to all i care about is the cutting edge which is right on the top so i'm going to move to 300. well i realized that my cutting bit did not have a straight edge on it which i need to cut a flat surface So here's my single point brooch set up. And this will be how I get it flattened out. I've got this mounted back up and you can see the surface actually looks flat now that I broached it single point temporarily clamped in place I've got the ball nut holder clamped in now I just I just I'm holding it with the C clamp but it's making it all the way up and down as you can see so that's good I found my spot Well, I've got this whole board out, so it fits over the ball screw now and it fits on that side. So now I can put this together in the mill. So it's time for my final test on the location of the ball nut here. So I put a, a shim stock in there and pressing the arm against against it and then I'm going to clamp it okay so here we go I've got the z-axis screw mounted in and you can see it there it's going to go all the way down. But now I know that the actual ball nut is mounted to the arm. The arm is clamped down and everything clears. And I'm going to, I'm going to raise up the I want to get it all the way down. So we're off the off the ball screw right now. I'm still turning it and we're not moving. But yeah, now it's going up. You see that? There we go. The Z axis is on the move with the ball screw. So that's good. All right, good stopping point for this video. Stay tuned for the next round.